Hi everyone and welcome back. Today is going to be my March favourite and this month has been a real mixture of things that I've been liking. There's been quite a lot of makeup that I've been liking this month but it's not been necessarily many new products. There have been things that I think I've probably featured in a favourites before and then a couple of fashion items and then some little random bits as well. So I'm quite excited to show you what I've got today. Um, that I've really been liking and I think I'm going to start with makeup. I've got a few face products and also lip products to talk to you about and I think I'll do the lips first and this month I've really only been reaching between a few lipsticks and these two have got to be my favourite. The first one is MAC and this is MAC Faux Lipstick. This is a very nude toned pinky brown. It is the kind of shades that I've just really really been enjoying wearing at the moment. Um, it's just one of those that's easy to grab. It goes with so many different eye looks and outfits. And then the other one, the other one that I've really, really been enjoying is Kate Moss Rimmel Nude in 45. And this is a very similar colour to the MAC one, just maybe a couple of shades lighter and not quite as pink. So this is the Rimmel one on this side. And I just have literally been going between these two um, with a lip liner every single day and then a couple of others but these two have been my favourites. Next for the face I'll talk about a powder that I have had for a really long time now but I just think it's probably my favourite powder I've ever used. I'm wearing it today, it's by MAC and it's their Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and this is a powder that I just go to when I want my skin to look flawless. It's It adds a little bit more coverage, this is in the shade Light. I've also got the darker one which I use as a bronzer. It's not translucent, it definitely adds a little bit more coverage and I just reach for this when I want my skin to look extra specially polished when my foundation is kind of like medium to full coverage but I just need the extra thing to really finish it off and make my makeup last so much longer than it would if I didn't use this and it's just something that I always go back to and I think this definitely would be a repurchase when I get to the bottom of it but it's lasted me for so long. And then moving on to something that I've been loving as a bronzer which this that I'm showing you today is actually like a little tester but I have been out and bought the full size which I'm going to put in a haul video soon and this is by Too Faced. I'm wearing it today, I've just actually filmed um, this makeup as like my everyday makeup routine which will be up soon and this is the Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer by Too Faced. So as I say this is just a little te tester version, this isn't what the packaging is usually like because it's a bit plasticky and cheap but this is the colour of it, it's just a really nice warm bronzer, it, it's not got any shimmer to it and so it's lovely as a contour but it just makes it just makes you look sun-kissed and your skin just look a lot warmer and it smells like chocolate which I really really like and I've just been using this. It kind of takes a lot for me to not reach for my NARS Laguna because I know that that's fail safe every time it's going to do what I want it to do but this one has been replacing that of late so really really like this. And then for highlight I have pushed my Mary Luminizer to one side and I tried to just embrace some different highlights. I've been doing highlight, I've been using highlight as part of my routine all month, like every single day rather than just for special occasions. I'm wearing the one I'm talking about today. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. I always feel weird showing my highlight. Um, but this one is a Becca one. Again, this is just a little tester that I got in a Sephora gift set, I think. And this is the shade Opal by Becca. So this is a gorgeous, this one is definitely more golden toned than the Mary Luminizer one, but it's not as peach or rose gold as the Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill for Becca. This is more of a golden shade. It just looks so natural and healthy on the skin. It is honestly, I don't know if that's gonna pick up there or not, but it is beautiful. They're really creamy, blendable. They don't look like you're wearing, like you could, probably put so much of this on and it still wouldn't look ridiculous. Um, I just really like it and I've been using it every single day so definitely probably want the full size version of this when this runs out too. Next I've got a hair care product and a body care product that I'll talk about before a couple of fashion things. The hair care product is something I got in a birch box and I've had a few of them in birch boxes now and I probably would buy the full size of this. I absolutely love it. And it's by a brand that I was never familiar with. I'd never heard of them before, before my Birch Box. And this is by Beauty Protector and it is the Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. 
I'm not overly keen on the packaging, it's a little bit red and black for me. If it was pastels, it's probably a lot more up my street. But you can't judge a book by its cover and this is amazing. It smells divine, it smells like, it smells almost vanilla-y. Um, it reminds me of the Estee Lauder um, perfume, the one, the coconutty one, the summer one, I can't think of the name. Um, it just, I look forward to using this when I've got out of the shower because it makes my hair feel soft and it makes it easier to brush. In the morning it just is softer, it's more manageable and it smells gorgeous. So I've been using this every single day. I try not to use little testers like this um, of hair care products on a day-to-day -day basis because I like to take them away with me but this I just love using and I just want to use it all the time. This next thing is something that we can't get in the UK but if there's anyone watching um, in other countries I think I don't, definitely know that they sell it in France because that's where I got it but I think they probably sell them in Spain and Italy and Germany and other Germany, Germany and other places in Europe and this is the Ushia, Ushia I want to say Vanille de Polonese Anti-Transparent Deodorant. Not very glamorous whatsoever, it's completely random. But I bought this in France. I featured it in a blog post of everything that I bought when I was there a couple of months ago. And this was like two euros, really, really cheap. It's just a rollable deodorant, nothing spectacular about the packaging or anything like that, but it just smells heavenly. I never knew that I had such a love for vanilla scented things until the last few months. And this, I absolutely just love using. So I've really, really been enjoying this. It lasts, it's so nice. I just wish that I'd bought like three of them or four of them, because um, they're really nice and really cheap. Okay, a couple of fashion bits, and these are, one of them's very, very affordable, and one of them's a little bit more pricey. And I was actually supposed to feature these in my favorites last month and completely forgot all about them. These are, I featured them in a haul video, and these are my trainers from Primark. So they are just plain black trainers. They've got a white sole, black laces, and then they've got this little bit of detail here on the back, which I'm not overly keen on, but it doesn't bother me that much. Um, these were, I think, £10, and I bought these because I sold my grey Nike Rochers on eBay because they were a little bit too big, but I still wanted a pair of trainers that like this morning I've been out to the dentist, I just wore a hoodie and leggings and I just needed something to throw on and this is what I chose. I just, it's just something that, because they're black, they go with everything. I don't have to think about styling them and they're really comfy. And I call them my Prike Proches because they are very similar to the Nike Roches, I think. Um, they're not too dissimilar, apart from they don't have the Nike um, sign on the side of them. But I just, for me, Nike crochets I think are 70 odd pounds and these were 10. Um, they might have been 12 but completely like a fraction of the price and I get so much more out of these. I love them and I definitely would wear Primark, buy another pair of Primark trainers. I never thought, I never thought that I'd even wear trainers, never mind a pair of Primark trainers but I highly recommend these ones. And then the other fashion favourite is a new addition to my wardrobe. I'm going to be featuring it in a haul video soon but I have been wearing this every day since I got it. I ordered it online and I was after a grey coat for a really long time and I ordered a couple and they just weren't right and this one was from Zara and I don't tend to shop in Zara a lot and I'm not too sure. I think the sizes are really hit and miss so whereas in New Look I could go in and choose four or five things and know that half of them are going to fit me or look nice. In Zara it's so much more hit and miss than that because they are so different. Um, like a medium in a top could be 10 times smaller than a medium in a jumper, if that makes sense. So I don't tend to shop in there all that often and we don't have one um, in Blackpool anyway. I ordered this online and this was 69.99, which I think for a coat that is um, a proper sturdy coat, that's not too bad. Um, I just, it's a bit of a bugbear of mine that they don't do student discount. But this is basically what it looks like. I will be featuring it in a haul and I've also had it on in a couple of vlogs. If you want to see it, I'll, um, link some of my, I think my Brighton vlog, I was wearing it, but it's basically got this collar here, um, which goes all around the top, and then on the actual body, it's got these quite big pockets, and these black buttons, and it's quite long, it's not too long, I didn't want it to be like past my knees, but it covers my bottom, which I really like from a coat, so um, this is 
my other fashion favourite and I just really really like it. I just think it's really cosy and it's a really nice piece um, and it makes me feel like I've made a lot more effort with an outfit. Um, I think just because of the colour of it I just think I just really like it if you couldn't already tell. So I've really been enjoying wearing that this month. So there are my favourites for this month. I hope you've all had a lovely March and that you're all excited for spring and that your Easter was lovely and that you didn't eat too much chocolate. Um, I did, I actually chipped a tooth, ironically, on a mini egg. Um, it has turned out to be quite an expensive bag of mini eggs if I have to get it replaced. Um, so that was maybe a, not a highlight of my March, but the rest of the month was really, really good. I had an amazing time in Brighton and you've all just been lovely as always. So I hope you have a brilliant April. Please leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you very soon. Bye.